Well, just how bad are the Philadelphia Eagles? That's the question you have to ask yourself when looking at the Sunday night game this week, which is Philadelphia at Dallas. Because Dallas installed as a 10.5 point favorite in this game on bet deck, 43 the total, by the way. But if you've seen the Cowboys play this year, you know that their play doesn't warrant them being 10.5 point favorites over anybody. So just how bad are the Eagles? Because Dallas, listen, they're 5 and 6. They haven't covered at home this year. They're 0-5 against the spread at home. The only games they have covered, they were either underdogs or they were favorites by three points or less. And they've just been consistently disappointing. You know, you always call the Cowboys inconsistent, or I have been calling the Cowboys inconsistent for the last couple of years. But it's not that they're inconsistent. It's just they're consistently disappointing, almost game in and game out. They show you flashes of a good team. It looks like at times, it looks like, oh, if they could just put it all together, they could be a good team, maybe even an elite team, but game after game, season after season with the same cast of characters, they don't put it all together. This is just who they are. So do you have any faith on, Do you have any faith in them at home as double-digit favorites, even though they have not covered one time at home this season? In my case, the answer to that is, yes, I do. I do have faith in Dallas covering the 10.5 this week. Has nothing to do with Dallas or my belief in this team because I have not much belief in the Dallas Cowboys. It has everything to do with my lack of belief in the Philadelphia Eagles. Recognizing a sinking ship, a truly sinking ship, is just as important in sports betting as recognizing a great team that covers every game. And make no mistake about it, the Eagles are a sinking ship. This team is last year's Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Last year, Tampa Bay lost their final 10 games. They were 1-9 against the spread in those games. Philadelphia this season has lost seven games in a row now. Philadelphia has been the very worst team in the NFL to back. They are 1-9-1 against the spread this season. They've only covered once in 11 games. And they're not getting better. If you've seen them play, you know... They're getting worse. Nick Foles now playing quarterback. This guy is clearly in over his head. Dallas has a top 10 defense. LaShawn McCoy out. Deshaun Jackson now out. I mean, where's how do you have any faith in the Eagles? I, I don't care. I don't care if this line was 10, 13, 14. I would lean towards Dallas covering here. Philadelphia, it it looks to me, not only are they overmatched now from a from a talent perspective, because most of their offensive playmakers are injured, and they've shipped off veteran Jason Babin. Always a, a bad sign when you start shipping off veterans who are, are still productive. This guy made the Pro Bowl last season you know, to make room for young guys, give the young guys time, a uh, chance to play. And Andy Reid, the writing's on the wall here. I mean, this guy, to me, is a lame duck, effectively. I, I don't care if they win the rest of their games. I don't think Andy Reid's going to come back. And they're not winning the rest of their games. As a matter of fact, it looks to me like they've quit on Andy Reid. And if you heard Jason Babin's comments, and and sure, maybe it's a a disgruntled guy who just got released or or waived. He was picked up by the Jacksonville Jaguars. But if you heard his comments over the last couple of days, he sounds like he thinks the Philadelphia Eagles are going to get worse before they get better. And it's hard not to agree with him, hard not to see where he's coming from if you've seen the Eagles play recently. 30th in the NFL in points scored. And we mentioned that the personnel on offense now, Nick Foles at quarterback, Bryce Brown at running back. Brown showed some promise, but they're without Deshaun Jackson. Dallas, for all their faults, they can pass the football. They're second in the NFL and pass yards per game. They do have a decent defense. That's about it. That's about all I can say good about Dallas. They've been a bad team to back this year. We mentioned they have yet to cover at home. Big line move in this game in Vegas. Line opened at 7.5. It is 10.5, even at 11 in a couple spots in Vegas. We mentioned it's 10.5 on bet deck. And quite frankly, you might think there are better opportunities out there. I understand if you don't want to back the Dallas Cowboys and lay a double-digit number. But I think Dallas is going to win this game, and I think they're going to blow them out. I do think they're going to cover 10.5 against the hapless Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday.